The History of the Destiny Shuttle The Destiny Shuttle is a short-range ancient support craft, two of which were originally docked at the dorsal hull of the long-range exploration vessel Destiny. The ship has life support for up to 17 personnel. There are several individual terminals that are dispersed throughout the ship for crew members. Additionally, there are seats for approximately 12 additional passengers and room for their supplies. The more damaged of the two shuttles were left behind on the planet shortly after the team from Icarus base arrived on the ship, but later, miraculously, restored to destiny in perfect working order. The second was used for several missions before being lost after crash landing on a world. Key Episodes from SGU Air Part 2 Upon searching the ship, the Destiny crew discovers two shuttles, one of which is venting life support into space. Senator Alan Armstrong, already close to death, locks himself into the damaged shuttle and seals the hatch. Darkness When Destiny's power goes down, the team uses the shuttle systems to figure out where the ship is going, which was straight into a star. Light Matthew Scott and 16 other crew members use the only functional shuttle to escape Destiny before she collides with the star. Space Lieutenant Scott and Sergeant Greer engage in battle with hostile aliens using the shuttle, putting its shields and weapons to the test for the first time. Divided Scott and Young take the shuttle out to destroy a tracking device left on the hull by the aliens, and are nearly lost upon return when docking clamps fail to engage. Faith, Lieutenant Scott, takes a group by shuttle to spend four weeks on a planet while Destiny travels around the system's star. Meanwhile, the ship's damaged shuttle is repaired enough for Colonel Young to deliver it to those staying behind on the planet's surface. Aftermath, Lieutenant Scott plots a shuttle's mission to retrieve supplies from a planet inaccessible by Stargate, and crash lands after a major power loss upon entering the atmosphere. The shuttle is damaged beyond repair and left behind on the planet's surface. Visitation Former crew members left behind on the obelisk planet return to destiny with a perfectly restored shuttle, evidence of intervention by a vastly superior alien species. Manufacturer Ancients Engine units, maneuvering thrusters and sublight engines Shielding, energy shields Sensor systems, subspace sensors, radar Countermeasures, stealth mode Armament, two pulse weapons Crew, five Minimum crew, none Passengers, twelve The ancient shuttle has a shape closer to that of a traditional Tari design than previously seen in alien shuttlecraft. It is shaped similar to Destiny itself, having an elongated nose section and wings where the engine mechanics is housed. It is longer than a puddle jumper and it has seats for a total of 17 people, 5 crew members and 12 passengers. The ones docked with Destiny when the exploration boarded the ship had faded paint but were later shown to be mostly gray with red highlights while the interior is mostly lit with blue and gold trim. The forward area contains the cockpit of the vessel with all controls and functions and the three main viewports. In the cockpit there are three chairs, the pilot's chair with the flight control interface, the supplemental navigation control area, and the supplemental weapons area. Behind the supplementary controls are the main weapons navigation control systems with a basic stool-like seating. The aft area is the passenger and storage area with bench-like seating, six on each for a total of 12 passengers. The benches have over-the-shoulder safety harnesses for the passengers to protect them from turbulence. The ship is accessed via a door in the rear which is locked externally with Destiny and opens with an airlock. 
No other entryways are presently known. There are three shuttle landing pads on Destiny. The ship is capable of sublight speeds, but not faster than light travel. Its sublight speeds are also inferior to that of Destiny itself. It has two forward firing energy weapons mounted in the wings, which appear to be the equivalent of Destiny's anti-fighter turrets. It has energy shieldings for defense and a stealth mode which has yet to be demonstrated. The controls, displays, and indicator lights are all accompanied by ancient text. Because not all expedition members can read ancient, English translations had been written on pieces of white tape and placed above the controls. From the pilot's chair, the pilot has access to most, if not all, of ship's systems, allowing the vessel to be flown by a single person if need be. Directly ahead of the piloting controls, such as thrusters, internal dampeners, autopilot, pitch yaw, and landing gear. Above all these controls are the navigational radar and a display for Destiny's jump countdown, as well as life support indicators such as oxygen levels, internal temperature and pressure. On the pilot's right side are weapon systems such as manual overdrive, targeting, and countermeasures. On the left side are ship's power systems. In supplemental navigation, two displays given readouts for various systems such as stealth mode, long range, and wide spectrum sensors and diagnostics. The supplemental weapon areas provide access to the main weapon's proximity indicators, shields, and thrusters. Thank you for watching the history of Destiny's Ancient Shuttle. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you already did. Thank you, and have a nice day. Bye-bye.